Okay, this last part is pretty short. So I'm going to read where I left off. Fudgy, that's naughty. You stop it right now, my mother said. Remember, he smeared peas on the wall. But Fudge sang, eat it or wear it. And he dumped the whole dish of peas over his head. I laughed. I couldn't help it. He looked so silly with peas falling from his hair. And when I eat and laugh at the same time, I choke. So I choked on my pickle and my mother had to whack me on the back, which gave Fudge another chance to spread mashed potatoes on the wall. That's when the waitress asked my mother, did we want anything else? No, thank you, my mother said. We have more than enough now. She wiped off the wall with her napkin and, he, and told Fudge he was very, very naughty. Not me, Fudge said. Not me. Yes, you, my mother told him. Why can't you eat like Peter? See how nice Peter eats? Fudge didn't say anything. He just stuck his fork into his balloon. It popped and he screamed. All gone. Want more balloon? More. Shut up, I told him. Can't you ever act human? That's enough, Peter, my mother said. She should have slugged him. That would teach that brother of mine how to behave in hamburger ha heaven. We took a cab home. Fudge fell asleep on the way. On the way, He had his fingers in his mouth and made a slurping noise. My mother whispered to me, Our day wasn't that bad, was it, Peter? I didn't answer. I just looked out the taxi window and decided that I would never spend a day with Farley Drexel Hatcher again.